What's up guys, ViprepV here, and today I'm going to be featuring the DYS F4 Pro V2 flight controller. This is what came in the quad box in May, so I know a lot of people are probably going to be using this flight controller this month and the next coming months. So I wanted to make a video, just kind of go over what the features are, and see if this is something that you actually want to consider buying it by itself. Or if you came with the quad box, uh, you can use this video as informational uh, stuff just to know where things get hooked up and get wired to the flight controller. So. You get this really nice package when you first purchase it, and taking it out it comes with this plastic case. And right off the bat, we get a pre-soldered XT60 connector, which is really nice. You don't have to worry about soldering up the XT60. Also comes with standoffs, so you don't have to worry if you're short on standoffs. It does come with standoffs, so you can put it on your stack. Also comes with all the harnesses for your 401 ESC. And it also comes with this little, uh, I think it's made like a PCB plate. I think this is probably for like a battery strap or whatever. But yeah, that's pretty neat. And then we also get the DYS F4 flight controller, of course. So looking here at the flight controller, we can pretty much, right here we have the battery plus, um, battery plus right here, and battery negative. And then we have the corresponding ESCs, where you can wire ESCs up to the main pads, plus and negative. We also have the signals right here, and looks like we also have, um, yeah, and that's the ground right next to it. Okay, and then looking here at the flight controller as well, on um, these buses right here. Actually, I think it's flipped over. Nope, that's the top of it, and it also do has a current sensor on here as well. But looking here at this from the top to the bottom on this side we have battery plus and battery negative and then we have TX3 RX3 we have current sensing our LED pin video out video in 5 volts actually both of these are 5 volts and then we have two grounds right here now moving on to this side of the flight controller we have the RX1 TX1 ground 5 volts TX6 and RX6 so if you're going to be using like um, X4R or um, RXSR pretty much or even a spectrum satellite you're going to want to use this pin up here because this is pretty much going to be your S bus pin and then if you're using crossfire you can go ahead and use these pins right here so it's kind of nice how they have it broken around so you don't have to worry about if you're using crossfire especially a lot of times they'll have like the 5 volt pins over here and then you have to use the TX pins over here because it's not broken out right like the JBF4 you have to like go all over the board just to hook up Crossfire. But it's nice that it's all in one spot there. And then I believe on the back of the board um, right here, let me pull that up here, right here we have um, RSSI and then we have a looks like another signal pad right there for probably like a motor 5 or whatever so if you wanted to say had didn't have enough UARTs you can probably do soft serial and then connect it there to the LED pin then we also have these all right here all ground pads and then right here we have 5 volts these two right here and then we have their buzzer plus and minus right there and then we have a 3.3 .3 volt pad so you can with people with spectrum satellites they can connect it to right there. Actually, it'd be this pin right here, not that one. This one. And this one we don't even use. This is some type of SPI or something like that you don't use. And then we have a PPM, which no one really uses PPM anymore. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all the connections. I'm not really seeing anywhere for camera control. I'm looking here at the schematics. I don't see where this does have camera control. Um, it is saying here on the TX6 uh, to use that as your smart audio for your VTX right there. I'm not sure if reason why but that's where it's saying here on the schematics I'm sorry I wasn't even in shot right there but yeah I mean that's pretty much the DYS F4 Pro V2 flight controller it seems pretty easy to hook up it does come with an instruction manual as well and that's pretty much what I was using as my guide on it but if you guys have any questions for me leave it down in the comments I'll leave a link to this um, down in the comments as well if you haven't already purchased one but I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.